Meanwhile, the Balochi state government has again spent the sum of 150 million naira in two local governments in a bid to elevate the suffering being encountered by people, which is caused by the poor economic conditions in Nigeria, coupled with the economic impact of COVID 19 pandemic. This, according to Governor Bala Mohammed, is aimed at bringing sukkah and solace to the people of the state. The governor, while flagging of the program under the Kaura Economic Empowerment Program, keep how Whatever challenges the federal government for its inability to ensure proper accountability of its social investment program, which becomes an avenue for enriching few individuals at the expenses of those whom the program is meant for. About his state correspondent, Awal Hassan completes the story. The empowerment program of the Bauchi state government, tagged Kaura Economic Empowerment Program, KIP, is meant to cut across all the 20 local governments of the state. So far, Eight local government areas have already benefited and this is the town of Dambam and Bissau local governments, making a total of 10. The sum of 150 million naira is earmarked for these two local governments, with beneficiaries cutting across society. What we are doing is a wrong, it's a government. It's a revolution. No side of Nigeria or voting, sorry, will be left out. We are providing infrastructure everywhere. Governor Bala Muhammad, however, challenges the federal government for its inability to ensure proper accountability of its social investment program, which, according to him, has become an avenue to enrich few Nigerians. On the part of the State Ministry for Cooperative Small and Medium Enterprises, all arrangements have been put in place to complement the effort of the governor in bringing soccer and solace to the people of Bochi State. Work has reached an advanced stage towards reducing the impact of COVID-19 on our businesses through the Bank of Industry in collaboration with the World Bank the NGKS program. Ten local governments have so far benefited from the Kaura Economic Empowerment Program. Keep Awal Hassan, Viewer TV News, Bauchi. Wives of the Fallen Heroes under the umbrella of Legionnaires Wives Association of Nigeria called on President Muhammad Buhari to as matter of urgency come to their aid and elevate their sufferings considering the contribution of their husbands to the national unity and survival of the country. National President of the Association Fatima Idris, who made the plea in Bauchi, says the condition of the families is becoming unbearable. Awal Hassan from Bauchi State reports. Many of these women are without husbands and breadwinner, and the pain still lingers, especially on a day like this. <coughs> their tears is not just for the loss of their loved ones, but for the pain of being abandoned by the authorities who gave their loved ones the mandate of protecting the nation at the cost of their lives. <laughs> We have been neglected for a long time. I've been saying it time and time again. Anytime we come for programs like this, I complain about the situation of the legion entirely, not even the legionnaire's wife. So we are calling on the government to please assist us. Our husbands have fought for the unity of this country. Our husbands made this uh, country to be bearable to us to live in peace. 
The National President Legionnaires' Rights Association of Nigeria calls on the concerned authorities to look into the plight of these women and their families so as to alleviate their suffering. These women has, are no, have nothing doing, one. Secondly, we don't have even handwork. We, we are calling on the government to please help us and create an avenue where these women can be able to be going for work, going to like a uh, entrepreneur, like uh, skill accusation, I think it's the same thing. So we are calling on them to assist us and give us uh, capital to start some petty business that can be able to sustain these uh, women and their family. And most of them, their husbands are old. They cannot provide for them, those that are, their husbands are alive. They are the women that are catering for their husbands, going to the farm, going around somewhere, even beggars. If I call on the uh, federal government, like in Borno State, my members are the main people begging on the street of Borno State. The condition of these families of the fallen heroes who fought for the unity of Nigeria as put forward by Fatima Idris is something that requires urgent attention. Thus, it is hoped that the authorities will look into their plight. Awal Hassan, Viewer TV News.